This lesson will cover the following topics. Controls under the steering wheel. Let's now look at the controls located under the steering wheel. The steering wheel controls combine several switches. Two stalks under the steering wheel integrate several functions. Let's now look at the controls located on the steering wheel. On vehicles with controls on the steering wheel, a connection is required between the steering column and the steering wheel. This connection consists of a rotary switch. One end of the rotary switch is connected to a static connector. The other end is connected to the steering wheel. On recent vehicles, the steering wheel controls and the rotary switch are combined as a single component. Removal and replacement of the steering wheel controls requires the airbag computer to be locked. To avoid damage to the rotary switch, two conditions are necessary for removal and replacement. The setting on the component must be at zero, and the front wheels must be in alignment with the rear wheels. Let's now see the electrical configuration of the controls or functions under the steering wheel. There are two types of electrical configuration for the steering wheel controls. The first is a conventional configuration using a wire and a switch. The strength of the current carried by this configuration depends on the strength required by the electrical consumers. This type of configuration is more susceptible to wear as it can carry a strong current. The second type is a configuration based on a diode network, which uses a weaker current. This configuration is more resistant than the conventional configuration. Now let's look at how the network of diodes works. When a control is activated, the UCH interprets the path taken in the diode network to activate the consumers. The steering wheel controls are connected to the consumers in three ways. For low current consumers, the steering wheel controls are connected directly to the consumers. For medium current consumers, the steering wheel controls are connected to the UCH. For high current consumers, the steering wheel controls use the UCH but require a UPC capable of managing this type of current. In this section, we covered the following points. Two stalks under the steering wheel integrate several functions. The controls on the steering wheel require a connection between the steering column and the steering wheel. On recent vehicles, the steering wheel controls and the rotary switch are together as a single component. The conventional configuration can carry a strong current. The diode network configuration is more resistant than the conventional configuration and uses a weaker current. The steering wheel controls are connected directly to the consumers or are sent through computers.